hey guys welcome back to my channel today i want to share with you how to make fiasica rai so it all starts by peeling some potatoes so um i learned how to make these during our family lunches and it is part of my resolutions to try cooking different dishes some more this year and this is quite an easy recipe fun fact this is a swahili dish and considering it's the first time I tried it, I think I did a good job. <laughs> Then I'm going to wash them up real good, making sure there are no peel marks left on the potatoes. And then once that is done, I'm just going to go ahead and cut them up into same or similar sized pieces then I'm going to rinse them up again then I'm going to place my spray on the stove add some water and then turn up the heat after that is done I'm just going to go ahead and place all my potatoes in and then add some salt and bring to a boil, keeping an eye on it so that the potatoes don't overcook. While the potatoes cook, I'm just going to prepare the paste. I have here some flour, a golden spoon, some water, and some food color. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the flour and the food color in the bowl first and stir it around before I add some water. Then I added some water and mixed. And while I was doing this, I noticed that my paste was not enough, so I went ahead and added some more flour into it. This is how it looks. I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up real good to make sure that there are no lumps uh, in the mixture. Now this is the consistency I am looking for and at this point some people add some more salt and others decide to add in some denier. I'm not going to do that for my recipe, it's just going to be plain. The potatoes are just about to boil and I'm checking by poking them with a fork if they are ready. once I get them ready, I just turn off the heat and remove them from the sufferia one at a time. So if you like these kinds of videos, please give it a thumbs up, comment on how you enjoy your Vyazi or even cook them. And if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Then I'm going to heat up my oil. And as this is happening, I'm just going to go ahead and add a few potatoes at a time into the paste and cover them real good in the paste. At this point, I just realized I should have used a bigger bowl because this is going to take forever. But anyway, it's going to work. My oil is hot, so I'm just going to go ahead and add in my potatoes. After about a minute, I need to turn them up so that all sides are cooked. After they're fried, I'm just going to transfer them into a plate and repeat the whole process again, adding the potatoes into the frying pan until all of them are cooked. Of course I lost some and this ones I mashed them up to enjoy later and this is the amount that was left of the paste. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, comment if you like and I hope you're going to enjoy the recipe as well. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye!